In ancient Hawaii, only royals could wear feather lei. Some say it's the island's most intricate art form. Well, over time, feather lei became harder to find, but it is making a comeback. Kamakapili explains. Every day, we all make use of our island roadways, but how many of us actually pay attention to their given names? Did you know you could learn a lot more about Hawaii if you did? Our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various roadways across the islands so we can dig into their names and in turn, learn something we may have never known before. This week, we bring our attention to what some consider the most intricate art form in Hawaii. In the Ahupua'a of Waikiki, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a roadway that's named after something very light, yet holds heavy meaning. We're talking about Hulu Place. In the Hawaiian language, the word Hulu can be translated as feather or quill. In ancient Hawaii, one thing that was entwined into everyday life was the use of feathers within items. From Ahu'ula, capes, to Mahiole, helmets, to kahili, standards, to lei hulu, feather lei. These items were all reserved only for royalty. Because birds flew the highest in the sky and closest to the gods, their feathers became symbols of high prestige. Expert bird catchers, known as kiamanu, would catch birds using a sappy substance, pluck only a few feathers, and then let them go to reproduce. But when the missionaries arrived in the islands in 1820, the need and acceptance of feathered items dwindled. Even though featherwork never fully disappeared, its presence faded. But since, this delicate art form has been revitalized within our communities, once again being prominent in ceremonies, art, and for some, everyday life. Did you know? Now you do.